Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, it's me, Giovanni, coming back with another video. Um, this topic kind of shocked me. I don't know why I would be so shocked, but it shocked the hell out of me. So let's get down to business, people. And I'm sorry if y'all hear the clanking noises. It's my bracelets. So um, it is the first time I think y'all actually see me with clothes on. Look, you little necklace. You see my necklace? This is was Rue 21. I love Rue 21 accessories. Rue 21. It's one necklace. I think it was like five dollars. The bracelets all came together, except this one. This is my watch. Um, but the bangles came. I got the earrings. I didn't feel like putting them. It's too much black and white. But um, anywho. <laughs> Let's get the business, shall we? Um, yeah, a German pop star. I hope I pronounce her name right. Nadja, Nadja Benesa, Benesa, Benesa. Um, I know I ain't saying that right. I fucked her name all up. But um, anyway, she used to be a used to be in the female group no angels I don't know who they are but they're famous in Germany so she's HIV positive and she has been having sex unprotected sex with men and them not knowing that she's HIV positive so yeah I didn't I don't know people well, I knew people did that, but I was like, really? Really, like, why would you risk somebody else's life and not tell them that you're HIV positive? So, um, they said she had it, she had unprotected sex on five different occasions I'm guessing with five different men and she's in jail she had to go to court and she could be facing anywhere from six months to ten years now that's damn Germany because I know over here you get a lot. could you get life for that yes because you're endangering others uh, I don't know if you get life but you get put away for a very long time um let me finish this and <laughs> I go to another story. Um, because it's kind of related. And if not, I have to make another video. Um, it says, according to the chart sheet, she had unprotected sex on five occasions between 2000 and 2004 with three people. And one of them, one of the dudes, apparently caught HIV. So, I guess he figured it out or he confronted her and she finally told him. But six months to ten years, that's all for endangering people's lives and you're sleeping with people knowing that you have it and not telling them. That's all she gets. All she gets. Um, it doesn't say um, August 26th, it'll like... The verdict will be in on how long she has to go to jail. And it's kind of crazy. I'm like, why not tell? Why are you going to keep that to yourself? I mean, I know if you know you want to have sex with somebody and you have HIV or something that cannot be cured, you need to tell them fucking people. Don't go around like everything's all okie dokie okay and then they catch it and you're like, what the fuck? And then they come confront you because they got it. And he was like, oh, yeah. So, bitch, that's your ass getting in trouble. Tell them up front and let them make their own decision. No, you might not have sex with them. <laughs> you you probably won't most of the time. But it's up to them on whether or not they want you to have sex. Which brings me to my other story here in good old Athens. I don't know if people have been hearing about this. Um, I think they caught the dude. Who has, I don't think he has HIV, I think he has AIDS. He has full-blown AIDS, I'm not sure, but I think it's AIDS. 
Um, I'm not going to reveal his name. Well, fuck that shit, bitch. His name is... I don't know his real name. His name is Forte. Forte. Um, he has AIDS. And he was going to... He got mad. I guess he, he got mad because he caught it. And he was like, he was going to go around sleeping with everyone um, to get them infected because he was infected. Now, needless to say, I don't mess with any people in Afton, so that's kind of my safety net because I don't do, town is too small. But, um, the police have been looking for him for a long time because he was infecting a lot of people. I think he was even on their most wanted list. Um, yeah, he was on the most wanted list for a while. Um, they had put out rewards and stuff trying to find him. And I think they caught him. I'm not sure they released him. But I think it was his grandma who snitched on him. His grandma told, well, I'm not even going to say snitch because his ass should have been locked up. Um, his grandma told, called the police and let them know where he was. Apparently he was at, I forgot where he was, but I don't know if he's out now. Like, he's infected a few females here. And, um, you know, big time, I think he was a big time drug dealer or something. And all he had to do was floss money and you knowing he had HIV, AIDS or whatever. People still slept with him. Like, because he was false money, bitch, he paying you. He got AIDS. I wouldn't fuck with that shit. I don't give a fuck how much money he offered me. What kind of bullshit is that? You think you un... You think you're not touchable? You can't get it? What the fuck? Um... It's a rumor. I'm not gonna put this... It's a rumor going around here that when a certain artist came down here certain female artist when she came down and she performed in the club he offered her ten thousand dollars to sleep with him and she took the money i'm not gonna say <laughs> who it is um but it's like ten thousand dollars bitch you a rapper you an artist you can't you taking two thousand dollars from a nigga, and he infected. I'm sure you know because people done told you or you hear about it. But really, that's gambling with your life. That's playing Russian roulette, bitch. Don't do that. And like, I just want to say, I know if you do have it, or um, if you. Yeah, just tell people. Just just let them know. You don't have to tell everybody. You don't have to go around parading. No, I got HIV. I got you don't have to wear a sign. No. If you're going to be in a relationship, with, with, not even a relationship, if you're thinking about having sex with somebody and they and you got it or you want to be in a relationship, that's something you might want to tell them. Let them choose for themselves. Don't be like later on tell them and you've been sleeping with them and stuff. And be like, well, if I told you from the jump, you wouldn't want to be with me. You let them make their own decision because it is some people, some people who would be in a relationship with somebody who I know, like one or two couples, like where one partner is infected with HIV and the other isn't and they're together. So that could work out. I don't know. I'm not saying that's for everybody, but that could happen. And it's a lot of diseases out there, you guys. Um, if you're going to have to, it don't even matter. If you having sex, wrap your shit up. If he don't want to wrap it up, kick it. Let his ass go. Fuck that shit, bitch. Don't risk your life because, oh, I don't like condoms. I don't like the way they feel. They, fuck that bitch. If you ain't in a relationship and you ain't been knowing him and y'all ain't got tested together, get tested together, and you fucking him without no rubber, you putting your shit at risk. You're putting your life at risk. If he can't wrap it up, 
Bye. Because it is somebody who will. It is somebody who will. I don't know why, like, I hear a lot of younger females these days saying how, oh, I don't like the way condoms feel. They don't feel natural. You can, They got those condoms where you can barely feel them at all. It feels like it's just him sliding right into you. Get one. Wear one. Make him wear one. If you don't, if he don't wear one, they got women condoms. I never had to get some women condoms, but they have women condoms. You put one on, or you put one, or you tell him, if you don't wrap it up, you going to get it. Okay? Is that simple? I mean, why would you put your own life at risk? Why would you take that major gamble? Get tested together. If he don't want to get tested and he just want to fuck one time, that's on him, boo boo. Don't do that shit to yourself. Not at all. I'm not like. But people say I've been knowing him. I've been we've been together for a while, but you don't know who he done slept with in the past. Um, disease is like dormant for a while, so there's no telling who or what he could have. You might want to get that shit checked out. You might. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, this is just, be safe if you're having sex, safe sex, wrap it up, um, yeah, wrap it up, you don't want kids, wear condoms, birth control, even though it's not, minding, even though it's not always effective, birth control, condoms, whatever you got to do or you could just not have sex at all for the ones virgin oh that's gonna be a whole new video about keeping your name i don't know what the fuck it is about these girls i don't know maybe it's just where i stay but these bitches losing virginity is like it's like it's just something they can always get back i don't know but um that's a whole nother video um if you like this video, press the like button, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will be leaving the um, link to that article below the video. So, check it out. Bye.